think back to the summer of 20, it seems like forever ago, 2020, um, when there was a contested election in Belarus and by all accounts, Lukashenko, the president of Belarus lost, but he declared victory and people took to the streets, literally hundreds of thousands of people took to the streets to protest the rigged elections. It really looked for a while as if Lukashenko might lose his position and as if the quote democratic opposition could possibly take over. Since then, he has relied increasingly on Vladimir Putin to keep him in power. There were a series of summits between the two presidents. Putin promised a lot of economic assistance to Belarus, et cetera. And also remember that since 1999 on the books, there's been a treaty of uh, the union state between Russia and Belarus that nothing ever really happened. I mean, it was kind of a joke, um, but all of a sudden it's real. And I would argue that Lukashenko traded his um, independence in order for Putin to keep him in power. And it looks increasingly likely that Belarus will become sort of a subservient part of some kind of Russian state.